So, walking over to the store, grab some supplies. I did manage to get the drive moved to the uh, external case. It shows up. I cannot format it. It errors out. It's, uh, I suspect it's toast. So, it was worth a shot. Uh, other ideas? I do have two half terabyte drives. Um, one, I know it's partially failed, but it also has materials on it, because it was an old external drive that failed. <laughs> and the other half terabyte drive was out of the uh, replacement desktop that I, we picked up for for Barb's writing that had also failed. But I've never tried to work with it at all. I just pulled it out, replaced it, and let it go at that. So I might be able to get that one running. It would give us something. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. So I got this guy to format. My two terabyte drive, dead. This guy had problems, reformatted. We're gonna give her a shot, see how it goes. Looking good so far. It recognized the drive. I re reinitialized it just to make sure. Still saw the drive, so whatever failed before it didn't fail again. It's doing the install. And I think I'll come back in a bit once it thinks it's done. And uh, I'll enter my key code from the bottom of the machine and hope for the best. There is no network for it to log into right now, which is okay. It means for that amount of time anyway, if things don't go perfect, it will uh, at least then have Windows 7 for a bit. Um, I didn't even need Windows to update the BIOS, I found out. Uh, I can load it onto a stick, a thumb drive, and then from the uh, the other screen there I can go straight to uh, go straight to loading it so I'll probably wind up doing that later and once that's done then it should be able to boot from a thumb drive and all that because I'm pretty sure this BIOS is really out of date So yeah, this would be a really boring video, even sped up. So I'll be back. Oh my goodness. So I went in, looked up how long a Windows 7 clean install takes. They said, yeah, 25, I had like 35 minutes. So it had been a few minutes already so I thought well I'll set the timer for 25 minutes and then I'll go out and see where it's at. As you can see it's not gotten horribly far. Now that was an install off DVD as well. It's still expanding the Windows files and it's 22 percent done. So judging by that I think I'll set the timer for another hour and come back and see what where we're at then. 
Unless I fall asleep and then I'll be out in the morning, I guess. But it seems like it's going in. But it's going to be a while. One of the other things I want to do, though, is while I'm out here, I'm going to pop this open and measure the main board. I don't know what size it is, but that would be kind of important to know. I think it's extended ATX. Um, maybe, or it could be custom. I'm going to take a calibrated stick and check it out. Okay, here's the fun part. I just pulled out the measuring tape from the top of the toolbox and I walked over here and I loosened the cover and I pulled it off and I lost the measuring tape and I just saw it now. Okay. Yeah, it's not the most uh, clever way of checking a measurement. Now, the biggest standard boards are 12 by 13. So let's have a look in the corner there. So yeah, that's about from there. Huh? 13. 13? Yeah, that's 13. And this direction? That's looking... It's not quite to the edge there, right? It's about there. It is. It's 12 by 13. So this is an extended board. Sure, see that way. There we go. So this has a simple EATX extended board. So if I want to put this in a case, I would need to get an extended case. Now the standoffs may not be in the same place, but I can adapt that. And the power supply, well, as you can see, the power supply is, what do we got? It's a Delta Electronics, what? 150 watt, that doesn't make sense. 20 amp, 16 amp. Oh, what was the max power I read on this? Well. I can always just have a look at those numbers later. I thought it was like 600. Yeah, 600 watts max, right there. So I could always use this power supply for something else. And uh, put in a regular case, regular power supply. Of course, the processors, these are the uh, now they're the X5620s. Because, yeah, the 75s, yeah, oh yeah, they're there. And I have one PCI slot. However, if you see what I'm seeing here, right, there's the slot. There's two slots right beside it. Oh, they're probably those FMOD slots. So I guess they aren't really PCI slots. But there's one 16. Yeah, we looked at that before, right? Yeah. Right there. It's a 16. So if I put this in a case, boom. I could set a PC, one PC, one graphics card up. Better make it a good one. Of course, that would mean no NVMEs. Nothing like that. It certainly would have the horsepower here with a good graphics card and 90 gigs of RAM. Actually, I'd probably have to keep the uh, power supply because of this connector here. That's what powers the main board. Might have to uh, do something special for the interface plate there too. Anyway, other projects. We'll look at those later for now. Well, let's step over and have a quick peek. I did set the timer for an hour. And, uh... Oh, look. It went from 
to 27% in about five minutes. So that's still expanding the files. So you know what? Yeah, at least an hour. All right. That being said, it lives. <laughs> okay, back to the garage. Let's see where we're at. It's been an hour and a bit. Black screen. Why black screen? No. Did I see something there? Don't tell me. I hit keys, I hit mouse buttons. Nothing. You know what? I don't trust it. Leave it and check it in the morning. We'll see what where it's at then. All right, I have a couple minutes here in the morning. Let's come out and see if it's unhung. I'm just hoping it was sitting there thinking internally and not actually hung, though that happens. Uh, <laughs> looks the same. Clicking mouse does nothing. Eh. Ooh, that did something. Control hold delete. Of course it did. few minutes. We'll go optical drive again. Well, for whatever reason it appears this did not work. Oh, of course, I could have tried booting from the I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna let it try and boot, and see if it does. Maybe it did successfully install, it just needs to restart and then ask the other questions. Going straight to trying to boot from optical drive. So it obviously did not see the hard drive. Oh, wait, the boot order. I bet you it did. Hmm. Took a bit to boot from the optical drive last time. Oh, this looks familiar, doesn't it? I wonder if my optical drive has <laughs> failed. Oh my. Yeah, it's not one thing or it's another. Dang it, won't make it work. Oh, 
Well, I don't have time for that. I'm going to see if I can reset it. I am going to try and boot from the hard drive. Come on. Give it to me. Okay. If it doesn't work. Hard drive. Well, it didn't air out immediately. It might be hope. Well, it would appear that was an unaccessible install. Because that should have moved on to other things by now. Shoot. Because, yeah. Four hours? Yeah, no. I saw that light flicker. Well, I'm going to leave it. Obviously hung during install. I'll have to see if I can get another copy of another ISO. It obviously was enough to run, but not enough to do the job. Oh, back to the drawing board. All right, let's do one last check. It's evening now. I left it running all day. I'm gonna go to bed. the blank screen uh -huh. I hit escape it's done something restarted it's okay I need some data Ooh. Let's us know where that is. I'll have to try something else.